Greetings and salivations, everyone. I'm Krista. This is Fisher, and welcome to Sea Rad. Today we've got a robe review from Mika's Little Monsters, and we've got a sneak peek at part of Fisher's outfit for May the 4th. So stay tuned. Sea Rad. Hi, everybody! Well, hello, 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 everyone. Welcome. We hope everyone's doing totally rad today. I needed an outfit for Fisher for May the 4th, so I reached out to Mika's Little Monsters about something I saw on her website and to see if she could kind of modify it a little bit to fit Fisher's body. And she was happy, happy to assist me with that. But while I was on there, I came across another robe that was a little bit newer to her website. So we've got a review of that, and then we'll do the sneak peek of Fisher's outfit. So the robe is a realistic suede robe with a tattered hem. And we've got Greeby here, guys. <laughs> Greeby is going to model that for us. Fisher, I'm going to put you to the side so I can show this up close. Are you good with that? I'm good with that. All right, little dude. Boop. We will see you in a little bit. So, Greeby in the new tattered robe. Greeby has a body similar to Fisher's, and I said, hey, is this going to be long enough for him? And it, it pretty much is. His little unpainted feeties hang out the bottom. But how cute is this robe, guys? It's hand tattered all down the sides and all along the bottom. And let me tell you, it is a super, super soft I don't know if it's real suede, it might be faux suede, but it's a super, super soft suede material. And then, of course, we have his signature Sherpa along the collars and cuffs. But best thing about this robe, it has snaps down the front. So there's a snap here at the top. Let me get your snap undone, buddy. And then it snaps all the way down the bottom. <laughs> Naked baby alert guys sorry about that but snaps so it comes off and goes on him very super easily now she makes this robe in two different sizes there's the size that'll fit the original green bean bodies and that's a nine inch robe and then there's this one which fits the longer bodies and it's a ten and a half inch robe but let me get your button back up here little dude all buttoned back up it does it really really looks a lot more realistic than some of the other robes she has another realistic robe that i did a review on but this one knocks that one out of the park i just i love the little tattered look to it i love that it's so flowy i actually have an under robe i can put on greeby for under this that would probably come down and cover his feet a little bit more and make it a little bit more realistic for him but the size and everything, the quality, I cannot say enough about the quality of her robes. She is very, very good with sewing and actually even modifying things to fit better. This robe is available on her website and I'll put the links in the description of the video for you. It's $30, guys. For, for a robe this quality, I, some of the other sellers sell their robes for a lot more, and the quality is not as good. Uh, but, yeah, th this one, it's a beyond totally rad, guys, because, yeah, we've got realistic Grogu robe for your beanies. But of course, I know you guys want to see the sneak peek of Fisher's robe. Greeby, we're going to set you back to the side. You happy with your new robe? <laughs> yeah, you love it. He loves it. So yeah, let's get that other robe so we can see how it looks on Fisher. Oh, Fisher! Yes, yes, my Lauren. Did, did you call me? I did. Are you ready to show everybody part of your outfit? Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait. All right. So on her website, she has a robe that has a hood. So it looks like the Grogu robe, but it has a hood on it. And it, it's kind of fancy, guys. But she makes them so that they fit the green bean bodies. So, you know, those are the ones without the feet. Or she can make it a little bit longer so it actually is long enough on something like Fisher with the legs. But I wanted it as a jacket so that he could wear pants underneath and yeah then his legs would stick out and it's here guys i know it doesn't look like much here but i love it she does the hoods with custom ear holes and they are finished off 
and it, it's really really super easy to get on them and then it's just it's kind of like a Grogu robe but not so let's put this on them and then we'll talk a little bit more about this one and the other one that she has available so getting it on them very very super easy slides on and then it too has snaps in the front so it's a very easy on easy off get you snapped up here buddy and then it has a snap on the collar as well just like the other robe so that you can snap that and he looks like he's Grogu ready and there it is guys how super cute is this now you're, you're not going to see the pants because the outfit that he's going to be wearing underneath this is kind of a surprise so you're going to have to wait but this is going to be his jacket for that day a Grogu inspired jacket and let's put the hood up so you can see it with the hood up super super easy to get around the ears easiest hood I've had with Fisher usually it, you have to kind of struggle a little bit but let's kind of fix you so you look a little better but there it is with the hood up guys how adorable is this I love it Angela from Mika's Little Monsters did such a great job on this this is a faux suede robe it's a very very plush fleecy robe and it's definitely it has fleece around the collar and the arms and it's very soft and again very easy to get on and the quality on this one again out of the ballpark knocked it right out you, you look so super cute Fisher do you like it I love it I know you love it now this one also comes in a blue color so it's a blue suede material and then it has the white Sherpa around the collar and cuffs so the, the blue one's really cute too and I have an idea of something that I want to ask her for in the future so definitely stay tuned for that if I decide to go that route with that but super adorbs these are on her website as well $28 again a steal especially for the craftsmanship of these and yeah just just totally rad and I can't wait for you guys to see Fisher's whole outfit on May the 4th because you're, you're just gonna you're gonna love it but check out Mika's Little Monsters website if you want some cool and fashionable clothes for your Grogu dolls. She does a lot of girl clothes too. I know she just came out with like a swimwear thing for girls and boys. And she's got jackets, she's got raincoats, she's got a bomber jacket, and she does the aprons. She had done the Sea Rad apron for us, which we love and Fisher still uses when we do cooking videos, which isn't very often, but it happens from time to time but so excited for May the 4th we have a lot of prep to do I think we're gonna be at Galaxy's Edge that entire day guys so yeah it's gonna be a full day of Star Wars fun on May the 4th and then the videos coming after it so definitely stay tuned but in the meantime thank you so much for watching this video if you enjoyed it please make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you want to see more awesome totally rad things in the future Please subscribe to our channel and turn that notification bell on so you don't miss seeing us. And I guess there's only one thing left to say, right little dude? We'll see ya later. Bye guys.